What's up, Libra? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. I'm on tour, so I don't know how the sound is going to be. I don't know how any of that's going to be. I'm on the road. There's nothing I can do about it. But we got some general messages for you. And um, let's get started. Libra, I feel like there's a place where you felt comfortable for a very long time. But I don't think this is the time for comfort. I think this is maybe time to step out of your comfort zone. It, it, it's giving that it, you've been maybe in an environment or with a person. Complacency. You may feel like it's time for you to receive something that you have been giving out. But sometimes we have to change the way that we give. Does that make sense? I don't know where that came from. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I would look up whatever your North Node is. Because this is this this may be a place where you may find yourself becoming complacent in a lot of situations. Even though you feel like it's time to receive, it's still it, I would look at the way you're giving or what it is that you're giving and I would revise that in some way. That makes any sense. Unapologetic is the word that comes to mind. What is the feeling that Libra is looking for? From themselves, from, the, from their interactions, from the people in their life. It's a time for healing. Healing the parts of you that are bearing results that you don't like to see. That's what I'm getting from that. Excuse my voice. I'm three concerts in. I hope that you can understand, you know, hear me, but here's what we got. After three concerts, this is what I sound like in the morning, okay? <clears throat> so, um, somebody that you are dealing with, um, it could be, it could be a Scorpio or Gemini in your life specifically. June, March could also be important markers for you. I think this is somebody that you are very sensitive about or that brings up a lot of sensitivities in you. I think there's something that you've been fearing about this situation or about a person. And I think you've been fearing that because whatever it is, whatever that feeling is, is close to you. Somebody may be looking to ride your coattail. Somebody may be looking to... Um, I don't know. It's, it's just giving, watch your finances around someone or watch, watch your ideas. Be very aware of why the closest people to you, the intimate ones, it's giving romance. Be very aware of why they're there. Ask questions, Libra. I'm trying to think of some good questions for you to ask, but ask the questions that you want to ask. Follow your gut when it comes to this person. This may not be the time to sit back. This may not. Be, you know whether or not you're at the point in your situation where it's time to to continue observing the situation, or whether it's time to actively be actively participate. And things going the way you want them to go. Take that how it resonates. I feel like there's something that you... Let me not say that first. Somebody may not have done what you think they did. Or they may have told you that they didn't do what they think, do what you think they did. But you notice their eyes. You notice an impulsivity or an immaturity about this person. You notice that they're quick to anger. They're quick to jump. And love is patient. I, <laughs> if this is about love, love is patient, love is kind, love is good. Look it up, Corinthians, okay? But they're good with their words, though. They get the gap, okay? It could be that they already have, they, this, this is somebody, somebody you're dealing with may already be involved. Have a girl, have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you're not listening to your intuition about this person. And you're better off without them anyway, Libra. 
Even if you don't have concrete evidence, you know what you know. You felt what you felt. You saw what you saw. That's enough, isn't it? They may be rebounding. Whatever it is, being in a relationship and everything. Being in the right one could be something. Okay? But start fixing yourself before whatever this is, which inevitably feels like it's coming to an end, comes to an end. Okay? Start fixing yourself and don't look back. Don't look back. Because when you are full of yourself, you attract things that stick to you, that stick in your life. Staying power is the, the word or the phrase that comes to mind. So let's see what are the general messages for the sign of Libra. Let me shuffle. Any of you could be dealing with the Earth sign. You could have reconnected with this person or this person. Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn puts you in a third party situation. Could be your partner though. Could be a, um, like a husband. Page of Cups in the reverse. General messages. You may have turned down an offer mm -hmm. from the King of Pentacles <laughs> towards Virgo Capricorn because you just don't see them as a stable partner. Oh, I heard. And who did they run back to after you did that? <laughs> Page of Cups. Yeah, you're letting go. Taurus energy for Pentacles. I asked for general messages, but apparently this could be a friend, a boss, or whatever. But it looks like you turned down an offer, possibly from. Um, because you're stable and they're not. I feel like you're in a stable place. You're like, I'm good. I can go, or something like that. You're over this person. The attachment or the, the infatuation or the love or whatever it is, the sexual attraction that you felt to this person is gone. What's the energy between this king and queen? Disinterest. <laughs> Four cups in the reverse. I'm not staying stuck here. I get a lot of attention elsewhere. I have success elsewhere. So I'm going to go. That's literally what I'm seeing here. And I do see you not looking back. Moving forward with whatever it is you're passionate about. Or moving forward, take your cup somewhere else. But make sure you do your healing. Because you still it's still on your mind. Okay? Oh, excuse me. I'm trying not to cough. You know, your, your chest is sensitive. I'm getting over a cold, too, so it's a lot happening <laughs> in my world right now. Ooh. Somebody's still stuck on somebody else. That, that's what it, I thought I said. Who else did they go to? The Queen of Wands, a fire sign, possibly. <laughs> um, Queen of Wands can also be known as a sad chick, a harlot, honey. <laughs> Or she just that other fine girl that your that your dude was into. <laughs> your girl taking how it resonates. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's like you knew this person wasn't alone. Well, when they didn't want to be alone, they, they went to the Queen of Wands. And then you would wonder why they weren't talking to you. And it was, a, it was a lot of unknown around this. And you're just tired of having... <coughs> you're just tired of the wondering. You're tired of feeling burdened by the situation. There's an Aries in this um, reading. Possibly. Scorpio Aries... Heavily. Earth sign. I 
This could be, this emperor could also represent you. No, it's not. It's not you. I thought it was, but it was. It's not you. You may have found out. Now this person could be a father. You could be a father. <coughs> this person could be a business owner. Um. You found out about something, Libra. Or you will find out about something the month of October. I feel like y'all already found out about something. Many of you. It could have even been a, a confession. You could have been dealing with a Libra or another Taurus. Another Taurus or a Libra. Or you could have found out about a pregnancy before a marriage was over. Or you could have just simply found out that your partner was cheating. I don't know why it feels like before a divorce was actually over. Why is the justice here? Or you could just decide that this is unfair and I'm not dealing with this shit no more. What is it? What's the emperor and the empress? We got the emperor and the empress here. So this could be a mother and father, husband and wife. What's the energy between these two? Three of Cups in the reverse. I'm not doing this with you no more. You hurt me, honey. We were supposed... Are you actually... I'm picking up on... Some of you can have children. Like, both of you have children, but they're not with each other. Two of Cups in the reverse, five of Cups. All right. So what's popping up in your energy most is this love thing, Libra. It's what it's given. So I don't see you reconciling with this person. I see you being pretty fed up with this situation. Now this could be the other way around, Libra. So take how it resonates. If you know you're not, if you know you're the one been creeping and bibbing and bobbing. So. I'm trying to pull another spread for you. Anything else that Libra needs to know for the month of October? To let go. Let go of that which holds you back, which keeps you blocked. Whatever causes those self-depreciating thoughts in your mind, let that shit go. So you can get to your happiness. Because you can't get to your happiness when you're always thinking about stuff that makes you feel sad. Now, I know. Easier said than done, especially if the shit just happened, okay? I'm not saying that. But happiness is a choice. It really is. It really is. And you really can't attract happy unless you're giving happy. So you got to give happy. And then, you know, it happens. It comes to you. Start speaking it into your life. Because whatever it is that you found out about that you need, that you have to let go, you have to release that from your emotions, it wasn't worth your happy. Hmm. It's like God is granting you this moment to gather yourself dry. I had, um, I don't know why this reminds me of this, but. Libra, hold your head high. Okay. I have a girlfriend. And I was um, preparing for, you know, we were meeting. I don't know where we were meeting. We were on tour somewhere. And we were meeting for the show at the hotel. And I had just gone through a breakup um, with somebody I loved so much. Oh, my God. He was my best friend. My big, jolly, green giant. But who knew he had such a nasty side to him? And when, when my girlfriend pulled up at the hotel, you know, when you see somebody, you know, you know, she, you know, you know, this person loves you. It could be your family, especially your mother. And you're going through something, your heart is heavy and you just feel like you need to release it. And she saw my face, Libra. And I was like, as soon as we locked eyes, I was like, <laughs> you know, you just, you're just ready to be held, to be, you know what I mean? And, but. This is what a good girlfriend does. She said, she said mm -mm, because there were people around. You know what I mean? And I don't know why I feel the need to tell y'all this story, but do not let do not let your slip show in public. Do not let nobody see you sweat. It doesn't mean that you cannot be human, but I feel like somebody don't need to let somebody see them sweat. 
Okay, you do that in the in the hotel room with your girlfriend, and you let her get you back together. So what she did was she said, "Uh, uh-uh, girl," and she grabbed me immediately and took me out of eyesight of everyone. Got me to the hotel and was like, "Listen, get it out now before we put our makeup on for this show." Okay, and then you're going to put some high drops in your eyes to clear up the red, and then you're going to get up there and you're going to sing your ass off. And that's what's happening tonight. You know, she called her mother, her mother prayed with me, and it was one of the best performances I ever had. So, you are the Queen of Pentacles, Libra. Okay, you're the one that people want. You're the one that people see as the solid person. In your reading, your person is coming up as the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So they're the ones that's losing. So you do what you got to do in private. You put your makeup back on and you get out there and win. That's what I feel the need to tell you. Two of Swords. And when they come back trying to apologize, you will have blown up. Because anybody who got you in a corner crying, honey, ain't worth it. Repeating shit with, okay? Ten of, pen, uh, ten of cups. I see even a lot of money coming towards you, too. Once you, um, once you, um, clear this energy out from you, I, I do see money coming because it, it, it opens up the energy for money when you get bullshit out of the way. Don't allow a relationship that is, um, yeah, this king of pentacles, I mean. The lovers in the reverse. Why is this here? Yeah. Release it. Release this. Don't cross back into something that didn't work. Don't cross back into something that this was toxic. Six of Cups. It was so sweet, wasn't it? It was so nice. But they had they were stuck on somebody else. That's what this looks like. Thing. I feel like things stopped. If you were two were at a distance from each other, they stopped coming to see you. Or things just started to feel like out of your hands. Because they still had, they couldn't decide who they wanted to have this love with, honey. They weren't, they weren't, they didn't know. Okay. And I feel like somebody was still stuck on someone else. There was a weakness. For someone else. But they all, there was also a, I didn't feel good enough. Too. But they, they guarded this. They may have told you it was over. But they still were emotionally like. About this person. Those two could have even shared a home at some point. I'm not sure. Y'all tell me in the comments. What other messages are there for my Libra? This is not the deck I meant to. Yeah, somebody's involved, like, seriously already. They weren't intentional about what they wanted with you, my love. And like I said, the impulsivity of it all. <laughs> I meant to pull these cards out for this section of the reading. Something told me, because I, 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 I wanted to do your reading last night after the concert. But honey, I was tired as a dog. <laughs> and then I said, I got up this morning. I was like, I could hit the snooze button. But then I said, no, I think Libra needs a reading. Yeah, this person is not serious. They're still checking for you. They're still interested. But there's an ex-lover. And then we have no. The moon is at the top of the deck at this other thing. Um, that I just pulled out the other deck. Okay, this person is still, it's, you know, that's what I, that's the shit I don't like, Libra. This person may not have their shit together. Maybe financially, it may just be like lack of organizational skills or lack of control when it comes to whatever is going on in their life. Right? They are emotionally unavailable as well. Vulnerability is not their thing. Um. But I feel like that could stem from a lot of shit. Insecurities. It just it's, there's, an, there's a block when it comes to this person's emotions. And you ain't got time for that. You ain't got time to try to decipher who, what, when, where with all of that. You want love, don't you? You want to be happy, don't you? 
the shit that I don't like, what I was going to say, is always looking to see where the grass is greener. Where do you think the grass is greener? Let's just think about grass, shall we? <laughs> How does grass grow? How do you get it to grow? You got to water it, you got to fertilize it, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to... So where the hell do you think it's greener at? Where are you mowing it? Where are you watering it? Where are you fertilizing it? Where are you going outside? And my sister's father used to go outside with scissors. Had the best lawn on the block in the neighborhood. Everybody wanted him to cut their grass. You see what I'm saying? This person knew that they weren't right. It's like, yes, I want you, Libra, but... <laughs> and, and and like I said, you didn't have concrete evidence on whatever it was, but you knew, you know, you know, and they know. This may be something, like I said, very stubborn, giving Taurus energy, not just because it's stubborn, but because there's been a lot of Taurus energy in this reading. Um, you two could live at, at a distance. Something about Wi-Fi connection may be rough in your area as well. I don't want you, no, I want you, but I don't need you, is the vibe, okay? You may have always felt like this person was nervous whenever you asked them questions as well. Very avoidant. I want you, but I don't need you. But didn't they, though? Uh, I just noticed a picture on my wall that says, just another point of view. What is your vantage point? <laughs> Um, oh, they're married. Are they married? <laughs> Libra identifying whose fault the shit is ain't, ain't, ain't gonna fix the problem. Just go. Just get yourself where you need to be. I feel like that has something to do with the, the message that I gave you earlier with well, where pay attention to what you're giving or how you're giving or change the way you're giving or something like that. Sometimes it's not always about receiving. It's about changing what you're giving so that you can receive what you actually want. There it is again. The one who gives should not remember. The one who receives should never forget. And that's true. But I feel like there was somebody who would I wouldn't I ain't gonna let you forget what I did for you, too. That could be taken several ways. Somebody wanted to give you the love and the clarity that you desire, but your vibration may have been throwing this off. You know how um you're like, tell me what I want to hear. Tell me this. Tell me that uh, somebody's like demanding something from you. And you're like, whoa, <laughs> that's not really my flow. So come back when you know how to talk to me kind of thing. Right. Because you may, you may have been coming off to this person or vice versa. Take how it resonates. You may have been coming off to this person like this because you're predisposed to who they are. It's like, well, I know it's this. So that, well, I know you, you're only going to do this. So I'm going to do that. And that, that ain't going to get you nowhere either. Neither one of you. Somebody's simply... Not ready. They're just not ready. So let's see what this person wants to say to you, and I'm out of here. Yes, I'm t Libra. They told you it was a friend. It wasn't a friend. It was probably that damn Queen of Wands. They tried to project some things out on you, but really what it was is they just needed time to figure things out. I want to tell you how I feel, Libra. I want to know you more than just physically. But I think I know who I love now. <sighs> they may have not had bad intentions in the beginning, Libra. They may just be one of them people who so nice that they don't know how to tell the damn truth. And, you know, the thing about people like that is that they think they're being nice. Well, really, you're being weak. And you're being a freaking manipulator. And you're being, I mean, I don't need no damn punk. What is it? And I'm an Aries, so I appreciate the truth even when that shit punch you in the damn stomach. Okay? Because it's better than me sitting up here in this room living a damn lie with you. Because that's going to make me punch you in your damn stomach. Because I don't give a shit about your nice. I give everything for your truth, though. That's, that's where I'm at with it. Okay? So I don't like that nice shit. 
<laughs> hit me with that nice shit. That nice shit get old. This person knows that they crossed the line with you. They know that they, this could have been a divine counterpart between the two of you because I saw the, the Empress and the Emperor. But the, the ground is unfertile. Put that hole down, honey. It's not going to grow. They don't even line up with where you want to be. Oh, I just got caught up in a moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel, I feel you're pissed off. I can feel you're pissed. I'm not even pissed. I just woke up. I'm going to get some coffee. <laughs> I remember every detail of that day. You deserve someone better than me. Even though there's potential between the two of you, there's a side to me that you don't want to see. And this is that side. Okay. Favorite. You have to decide, though, Libra. Let go of the control issues. The romantic feelings have already been lost. This person is not worth waiting for, but you have yet to separate from them, or they have yet to separate from somebody in their past. Okay? Honestly discuss how you feel about this situation so that you... This ain't the one. This could be the one that's in the reverse. But And also very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want. So it comes to you now is also in the reverse. So this is this is a decision that you're going to have to make to free yourself. Boom. That's the end of the reading. <coughs> Clearly decide what it is you want so it can come to you now is in the reverse because you need to free yourself so that you can clearly decide what it is that you want so that it can come to you now. And I'm going to leave it there. Libra, I love you. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. If you I'm not. I'm, I'm going to wait till I get home and do personal readings. I'll be home um Let's just say 14, 15 October. Um, let me get a day of rest and then we're going to crank everything up again. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.